everybody okay? No, I'm not. Now, how many times do we have to do this in order for us to get this right? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just got carried away. I've never done anything like this before. Yeah, that's obvious. Oh, where does it hurt? I'm sure I could fix it. Don't touch me. Tom, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Listen, everything's going to be okay. It'll be perfect next time. Next time, my <laughs> she's beat the <laughs> out of me. Oh, please, trust me, baby, trust me. Sergeant Courtney, why don't you show Mrs. Sims here how to handle her purse? She doesn't need any help. Why don't you have the lady play the mug? She'd be perfect. Will you get off my back? Everybody wants to be a comedian. Well, I'm serious. That was the third take. Well, if she forgets again, I'm not responsible for my actions. You wouldn't hit her. Only in self-defense. <laughs> How many times have you had your purse snatched? Twice. You should know more than anybody. It doesn't happen that way. I mean, if she reacts like that to a real purse snatcher, somebody's going to get hurt. And he won't be him. Now, this time, you show me what you're supposed to do. Well, when I carry my purse, I'm supposed to carry it upside down like this. And then when a purse snatcher comes along, I don't resist. I just open the catch and let everything fall out. And then I sit down and I blow the whistle to scare him away and blow the whistle on time. That's right. And then you sit down before you get knocked down. It's a lot safer. You, uh, you carry a lot of stuff in your purse, Mrs. Sims. It looks like they're rehearsed. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna take the first scene from the top, everybody, one more time. You, go lurk in the hallway. It's rare when anyone gets hurt in the movies, but street crimes are very much for real. Assaults, purse snatchings, muggings, robberies. Each year there are more violent crimes, each year there are more victims, more statistics. Remember, control those instincts. The criminal thinks that senior citizens are an easy target, but you don't have to be. There are simple techniques that you can learn, techniques like the upside down purse and a whistle, that can keep you from being this year's victim. Techniques that can keep you from becoming a statistic. And you don't have to learn kung fu or karate or any of those things. But you should master these simple, non-physical safeguards and make them part of your lifestyle, part of your everyday habit pattern. Mrs. Sims, you're the expert on purse snatching. Right, twice this year. Once even in broad daylight in the supermarket. I didn't even see him take my purse out of the shopping cart. Most purse snatchers like to work where there are no witnesses. But there are always a few in every city who know that women often leave their purses unattended while they're doing the shopping. Now, first of all, you probably don't need your purse while you're doing the marketing. You can keep your wallet and your keys safely in your pocket. But if you do need your purse, well, Mrs. Sims has a very interesting way of handling that problem. Show me, I'm new here. Oh. Oh, hey, that's my bag. That's my party. Go, go get it. Sure thing. Oh, what a mess. Clever trick, huh? Actually, it would be a lot better if you could just keep your wallet and your keys in your pocket and uh, avoid that problem altogether. And don't forget that burglary and prowlers are always a threat. A deadbolt lock and a little bit of caution provides good home security. I always lock my house, and I close all the windows when I'm away. When I'm home, the doors are locked, and the windows that are open are on a jam lock. But they still try. I can't hear you from the barking. 
I decided to keep the house locked and use that barking dog, I haven't been burglarized. At least not while I'm at home. Everyone should keep their home locked at all times. An unlocked door or window is simply an invitation to a criminal. Home security is really personal security. You're protecting yourself as well as your hard-earned possessions and also those irreplaceable family mementos. A common problem for senior citizens is the obscene phone call. It's for you, Mother. Oh, you have no idea how old women excite me. <laughs> Don't you just love it when I call? You know, I'm also pretty good in the morning. We've never done that. How about... <laughs> another good way to blow the whistle on crime. It's also one of your best defenses. But please don't forget us. And don't forget the telephone company. If you're bothered by obscene phone calls, be sure and report them. You know, criminals wait until the time is right. They plan their crimes. We used to have problems in the days people would bring their social security checks into the bank. But not anymore. Not so long as they follow our plan and if people stick together. Remember, Mr. Boyle, what happened to you? Boy, do I remember. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today, Mrs. Sim? At my age, you do You look great. Well, as a matter of fact, I feel fine. I'd like a low cash of 120 and two tens would be all right. Certainly. I can take you over here. My first customer of the day. You keep real baggage hours. Wish I had your job. Morning, huh? Thank you. Put it in a safe place. I know. Stash it. Don't flash it. Have you seen Betty Lyons? Isn't that Mrs. Lyons over by the coffee? Yeah, I believe you're right. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. 40, 60, 80. There you go. Thank you. Morning, Betty. Morning. Ann, I thought I might walk you home. You know you're not supposed to leave the bank alone on Social Security Day. Oh, I'll be all right, Henry. Betty and I are waiting for Jean, and we're going shopping. All right. Some other time, maybe. Bye. Bye, Betty. Bye. Just another conquest. There he is now. Give me the gun. Hey, man, go easy with that thing, okay? Okay, okay. You just drive. I'll take care of the old man. Hey, Pops, give me your wallet. What? You heard me the wallet, now. we get? You can't trust anyone over 30. Thank you. Have a good day. I've just been robbed. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Give me your pencil, will you please, before I forget the number? I'll be right back. UJA604, California. I've got a description of the car. 
And they've got a gun. Are you sure you're all right? I never felt better. I just want to nail those punks. Sheriff's Department, I'd like to report a robbery. Hold on. Sheriff, they're in the Blue Plymouth. That's right, in the California license plate. U J A 604. <laughs> Can you believe that? We better have a talk with him. I'll run the plate. Attention all units, this hearing just occurred at 106 Elm, perpetrated by two male whites in a 66 Blue Plymouth license, Union John Adams 604, Classy Northbound Croft. Suspects armed with a blue steel revolver. That's it. Is that it? Hollywood 91 1033. We are following possible suspects, 211 suspects. Request one unit backup, eastbound on Cloverdale. Hang on to this, will you? Don't panic, but the fuzz is behind us. Don't turn around, stupid. All right, buddy. Let's see how well you can drive. Okay, they're going to run. Let's go. Hollywood 91, we are in pursuit. We are southbound on Oak Ridge, 10,000 block. Hollywood 91. something? If I didn't show my money, none of that would have happened. And you'd have been a lot safer if you hadn't left the bank alone. Believe me, I tried. I always carry two wallets. One real, one loaded with junk ID cards, phony money. And I want to tell you something. Real wallet or phony wallet, I was going to give him anything he wanted. That's right, Mr. Boyle. You never want to argue when your safety's at stake. You did the right thing, Mr. Boyle. You got the license number, and you call for help. Remember, your best defense is to think it can happen to you, and then develop a plan using simple, everyday techniques for your protection. Never walk alone at night. Burst snatchers use a surprise attack, but so can you. If you're confronted by one, Sit down before he knocks you down and use a whistle to call for help. Keep your defense up, no matter where you are. Remember, home security is personal security. And he won 63. Hurt the caller's ears, not your own. Don't advertise how much money you have. When you go to the bank, try not to go or leave alone. Hi, Betty. Bye. I've just been robbed. Are you all right? Oh, I never Both the bank right. and law enforcement are there to protect you. Hello, Don't Department? be afraid to ask for, for help. Robbery. Hold on. Sheriff, sure. they're in the blue Plymouth. That's right. It's the California license plate. U-J-A-604. You've all had a long lifetime of experience. And your brains can beat their brawn. 
when you make the criminal's job more difficult, you help all of us blow the whistle on crime. And fade to black. <laughs> that, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. I'll see you next week. Okay. Uh, good, good night, gentlemen. Good night. Anne? Oh, Henry, you scared me. Anne, you know you're not supposed to be out alone at night. My protective. <laughs> uh, uh, Anne, I got some real money. How about coffee? Best offer I've had all day. 